In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to completely customize your Steam profile. Before getting started, you're going to want to make sure that your profile is at least level 10 so that you gain the ability to set a showcase on your profile. One of the easiest ways to do this is to go to your username here, then badges, scroll down until you find the Steam community badge, and complete as many of these challenges as you can to level up this badge and your profile. Once you've done that, go to store, point shop, then seasonal badge. You can purchase seasonal badge levels with Steam points, and this will level you up pretty quickly. Once you've reached level 10, we can move on to customizing your profile. To start, if you want this transparent look behind each of your showcases and text fields, you want to go to Store, Point Shop, Game Profiles, then click Dying Light 2 or search for it here at the top. It's 10,000 Steam points and it comes with this Dying Light 2 special profile, which is what we're looking for. Once you've bought that, Click your profile name, then view profile and edit profile. Click special profile, dying light two, then save. While we're here, let's click featured showcase and select this dropdown to make sure you have an artwork showcase slot available. If you don't, click store, point shop, then showcases. Make sure you purchase this featured artwork showcase. The artwork showcase is the first main picture right here. This picture helps you decide your background so we don't have to worry about the background quite yet. My favorite website to look for our work is deviantart.com. To make the art easier to find, we're just gonna Google search free Steam artwork DeviantArt. There's tons of profiles and creators so do some looking around and find artwork you like. Some are free and some you're gonna have to pay for. Once you find some artwork you like, scroll down to the download section, click the link and follow to the actual download. Once you have the artwork downloaded, come back to the DeviantArt page where your art is. This is where you can find a link to the background that matches your art. Make sure you download the background as well. The prices on each background will vary. Once you have your art and background downloaded, open your file explorer and go to Downloads. Left click the zip file you downloaded from DeviantArt, then right click it and do Extract All. Next go to this link in your favorite browser. I'll paste it in the description. This link brings you to the Steam upload page. Give your artwork a title, I like to do something like a period in case the title is shown on my Steam profile. Click choose file and select the artwork you downloaded from DeviantArt. Once you upload your file, right click anywhere on this page and choose inspect, then click the console tab. In here you'll paste this line of code I'll also have in the description. Hit enter, then you can certify that you created the artwork with this checkbox here. Click save and continue. Now go back to the Steam application. Click Edit Profile, then Profile Background. Choose the background that goes with the art you downloaded, then Save. Next, we'll go to Featured Showcase. Click the dropdown and select Artwork Showcase. Click the blue pencil and choose your saved art. If your art looks like a little black line, then you did it correctly. Click the black line and your art will upload. Once you're done uploading all your art, click your profile picture and view your profile. Your page should now have your background and first showcase displayed. If the showcase is animated and the timing seems off, click this little refresh button in the top left to see if that helps. Next, I'll show you how to create an achievement showcase like this. To start, follow this link. I'll have it in the description. Scroll through these letter styles and pick your favorite one. Click the game name to find it in Steam and purchase it. Once you have the game, you'll want to download the Steam Achievement Manager from this link I'll have in the description. Click Steam Achievement Manager 7.0.37.zip to download the zip. Go to your File Explorer, Downloads, then left click on the Steam Achievement Manager zip file and right click after, go to Extract All and Extract. Once that finishes extracting, open the unzip folder and double click the SAM.picker application. When that opens, scroll down to find the game you chose for achievement lettering. Double click on it then click Unlock All Achievements and Commit Changes. It might take a little bit for all the achievements to unlock depending on how many achievements the game has, but just wait until all the achievements are unlocked, then jump back into the Steam application, Edit Profile, and under Featured Showcase, scroll down to your next slot and choose Achievement Showcase. If you need an additional showcase slot, you get one slot for every 10 profile levels. So go back and level up your profile to the next increment of 10. Now for the Achievement Showcase, click in each of the blue pencils, then choose the game you bought from the dropdown, 
and click the achievement you want in that slot. If you want another row of lettering, go to store, point shop, showcases, and purchase the achievement showcase for an additional row of slots. You can do this for up to three rows. The last piece I'm gonna show you is the workshop showcase. These three video boxes are the workshop showcase. You start with one box and you can upgrade the showcase in the point shop for up to three boxes. These steps are very similar to the artwork showcase. So we're gonna go back to DeviantArt and look for a five panel workshop showcase. Search until you find one you like, then click on it, download, and either purchase here or find a free one. Once you have the download file, we're gonna go back to this link I'll have in the description, the same one we used before. Give your art a title. I like to number these ones so I remember which order they go in. Choose the first file, right click anywhere on the screen, inspect, click the console tab, then paste this code, I'll have it in the description. Press enter, certify that you created this artwork, save and continue, and then repeat this process for each of the workshop art files. Once you're done, come back to Edit Profile, Featured Showcase, and click the dropdown for My Workshop Showcase. Select the blue pencils and make sure you upload the files in the correct order and you're all set. Now your profile should look way better than before. Let me know if you run into any problems or have any questions. Thanks for watching.